What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great Wednesday. It's hump day, midway through the week, and I've got some Eagles news for you. Now, earlier today, we talked about Avante Maddox going to IR, Britton Covey being signed to the active roster. Go check that out. Now, YouTube has been a complete saddlebagger to me, so I wanted to get this out to you way sooner, but I'm re-recording this, trying to get it out, been messaging with them all day, but... Oh, good times, but we're here and we're going to talk about some roster moves, practice squad moves that were made. Appreciate you taking the time, though. This is not a live video, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Appreciate you hitting that like button, subscribing, all the comments, everything you're doing to support the channel. I cannot thank you enough, but there was another move made. I did make the post, but uh, in case you missed it, uh, we actually lost Brady Russell from the practice squad. The Seattle Seahawks grabbed him. And anytime you take someone from another team's practice squad, you are putting them on your active roster. So that is where Brady Russell will go. He will not be playing musical chairs on the practice squad any longer. So best of luck to him. But the Eagles assigned Brian Kobach to the practice squad. And we talked about last night, we had a few tryouts here. Told you I would break it down in case we signed any of these players. And well, we did just that. So Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen, and let's take a gander here at Brian Kobach. Let's get to know the new Eagles running back. And had a comment the other, uh, well, maybe it was yesterday, the day before, but why would the Eagles ever want to sign a practice squad running back? I'm not sure if this person was not watching, but Kenneth Gainwell did not play in the last game, and Boston Scott had to leave due to a concussion. So practice squad is for practice, guys that are going to practice and Sometimes if you don't have all of your players at a certain position, you want to have guys on the practice squad. We had no running backs. Trey Sermon just went to the Colts practice squad. So, Bryant, go back. Step on up. So, this is the new running back. I know a lot of people feel a certain way about this kind of stuff. They get so worked up about the practice squad. They don't understand that these kind of moves happen literally every day, every week of every year. It's the practice squad. So, Let's not get worked up about it. Let's get excited about the Philadelphia Eagles, continue to develop, get better. And you do that by every little fine detail being worked out here. And the practice squad is also very important. So, Brian Kobeck, let's take a gander at the six foot, 210 pounder. And he was an undrafted free agent out of Toledo last year by the Minnesota Vikings. He was one of those musical chair people that off and on this uh, Vikings practice squad and then. This offseason, he was there for a few months off and on with the Seahawks. So, you know, a lot of people get surprised that, you know, guys getting cut and then coming back. This literally happens to every team, all these players, all the time. It's no reason to get worked up about it. It's the practice squad. So, you see this young man. Look, he has one year, technically, of experience, uh, but not really, if you count it as experience. So, he's been in the league for a year, okay? But, uh he has not played in any game action, so I'm going to give you his stats from Toledo. Now, I know one of the first questions is going to be, can he return the ball? Now, kick returning, he had one for 28 yards at Toledo, but other than that, that's all I've got for you. But he did start 30 of the 43 games he played. He actually originally uh, was at Kentucky, and then he transferred, I remember seeing uh, in 2022, he was actually the MVP on offense at the Hula Bowl. You guys were checking that out. But 658 rushes, 3,823 yards, 5.8 yards per rush, 88.9 yards per game with 41 rushing touchdowns. And then you see 63 catches on 77 targets. That's pretty damn good, 635 yards. Good for 10.1 yards per reception, only 14.8 yards per game, but seven touchdowns there. It goes to show he has that facet of his game as well and I think this kid you know a little tougher he's got a little bit of weight on him but obviously he brings that kind of skill set that the Eagles are looking for here so again this isn't somebody you know that you're coming in he's your great third down pass protection guy he's you know doing this that the other it's the practice squad you know we've got four good backs here as our top four guys but with Gainwell and Scott banged up this young man, given an opportunity here, we'll see if he takes it and runs with it or he could be let go. We'll see. But now that he's been added and Brady Russell's off, 
talked about Tijuana Mullen being added. If you missed the breakdown on Tijuana Mullen or any of these practice squad guys or anybody on the roster, you can always just type their name in. Even on Google, most of the time my videos will be at the top. You will find breakdowns on all of these people. So if you want to know about Tijuana Mullen, whatever. But that was all I had on you for Kobach. But let's take a look at the updated practice squad now at 15. So we still have an open spot. Could add another random player to the mix here. But on offense, we've got eight players now putting uh, Kobach in there, taking Brady Russell off. And obviously, Britton Covey was promoted from the practice squad to the active roster. Again, go check that video out. But as you can see here, now we've got eight on the offensive side of the ball. Three wide receivers, one running back, and four offensive linemen. Maybe we look to add another tight end, Dan Arnold. Somebody, you know, obviously you're going to hear the media, we're trading for Patrick Mahomes, Buda Baker, all this. But it's the practice squad, so we'll probably just add a practice squad person. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, you see an interior defensive lineman in uh, Thomas Booker. You've got Teron Jackson, the edge rusher, Ben Van Sumeren at linebacker, two corners in Mullen and Garner, and then Tristan McCollum. Again, if you need any breakdowns, go check out Tijuana Mullen, Thomas Booker, all those guys. And actually, I think they're a part of the same show there, so go check that bad boy out with LaRaven Clark in there as well. Now, on to the final member of the practice squad, he got himself a number. He not only took Aaron Sippo's job, but he took that number too. So Deshaun Jackson's number 10 now being worn by Braden Mann. So look, hoping the best. <laughs> Sippo's was atrocious. So we finally got our wish. Braden Mann, excited about him. We talked about the Ray Guy award winner. So he's got a lot of upside here. Maybe in the right situation here, he's going to do well. He's been holding well in practice is what they're saying. Great. That's what we need. Let's F and go. Sippos is gone. Braden, man, you will be elevated on Monday night. Let's go whoop some ass. Now, here is the full list of that practice squad I just showed you. But just so you can see, all of them together here, eight on offense, six on defense, one special teamer. And again, there is one spot open. So as soon as that is filled, I will let you know. And if it's someone that hasn't been on the roster well, then you'll get a breakdown. If not, well, you guys can always go back and check out the other ones. But I'll keep you updated with everything that's going on. And as I always tell you, you know, <laughs> dude, just stay on your toes. You know how he is always wheeling and dealing, doing things. So if anything happens, I will give you that. Stay tuned for the rest of the week. You're going to get your top matchups, the roster comparison, the injury report on Thursday. All that stuff will be out. Keep you up to date with everything you need to know before this Monday night matchup with the Buccaneers. But if you have any thoughts, any questions, anything you just want to talk about, regardless of this, let me know down below in the comments. You can always reach out if you need anything, whether you want to talk about birds, life, whatever it may be. But truly appreciate all of your support. If you got anything from this, do me a favor and hit that like button. And until next time, I'm Jimmy Smith. And this is On the Road to Victory. I hope you're all having yourselves a great Wednesday. Stay safe out there. And as always, go birds!